Olshe is out. The Blazers' general manager was fired Friday, and the team quickly released a statement when the news broke, writing in part, the Portland Trail Blazers organization has decided to terminate general manager and president of basketball operations Neil Olshe, effective immediately due to violations of the Portland Trail Blazers' code of conduct. General managers uh, ordinarily are not the most... uh, uh, popular people in any organization. Longtime Trailblazers insider Dwight Jaynes says he got along all right with Olshay, but that allegations of bullying and creating a toxic workplace are serious. And there must have been something concrete there for them to come to that conclusion. For a decade, Olshay has been in charge of building a professional basketball team in Portland that could truly chase the spirit of 77 and get another NBA title. While some of the pieces may be in place, it hasn't happened. And this year, so far, has been tough. They haven't played hard. They certainly didn't play hard last night in the game against San Antonio. That's one of the worst efforts I've seen on their home court ever. And so as a general manager, you look at his job performance, and from a basketball standpoint, you say, hey, this is a franchise that probably needed a breath of fresh air years ago. Oregonian sports columnist John Canzano has also covered the Blazers for years. In terms of the workplace abuse issues, he is not surprised by the results of the Olshea investigation and the GM's firing. Canzano thinks it gives the Blazers a fresh start on and off the court. You know, I really wish no personal ill will towards Neil Olshea, but this is a decision that I think the fan base is galvanized on. I think people who have dealt with Neil Olshea are are galvanized on. I don't see anybody protesting this right now. And in a weird way, this is like the one basketball decision that everyone agrees upon. In their statement, the Blazers also wrote, we are confident that these changes will help build a more positive and respectful working environment. As for the former GM. It's a difficult resolution for Olshea, who I think will be tainted by this uh, in his search for further jobs. Tim Gordon, KGW News. Let's keep this going with Orlando Sanchez now, who's here with more on the fallout from today's announcement. So the first question, just kind of um, moving forward, who's going to take his spot for at least right now? Yeah, I mean, that's a difficult segue to make based on this dark cloud that's been above the trailblazers for the past month or so. Just wondering, where are we going to go from here? And right now, it's Joe Cronin who will be... who is the interim general manager and has been an assistant general manager with the team and has been a part of the Portland Trailblazers for the past 16 years. But per that release, there will be a search for a permanent replacement. All kinds of names are already being thrown out there. Mm. We'll dive into that later on. Okay, gotcha. Well, in the meantime, we mentioned this at the top. I mean, this comes at a really tough time for the team. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of places to go with this, not just on the court, off the court. I mean, this has been quite the year. It's all part of the the end of an era coach Terry Stotts let go team president Chris McGowan leaves on the business side and now the team's biggest decision maker on the basketball side Neil Olshay is out that's a major change from having these guys in the same position for essentially a decade it also goes back to this summer Damian Lillard questioning his long-term future and building a championship contender basically The Blazers have gone to the playoffs each of the past eight years, the longest current streak in the NBA, but they've failed to go from good to great. Roster construction, the 2017 draft, summer of 2016, last night's 31-point loss to San Antonio that Dwight James mentioned is just the latest example of the Blazers' recent struggles. The team is 11-12 and on the season, and new head coach Chauncey Billups, he was asked about the team's start to this year. I want us to compete harder. Um, I want us to be more competitive in every game, you know, in every game. And I don't feel like every night um, we do that. I really don't. I don't feel like we do that every night. Um, And that concerns me. And Maggie, that is something brutal that you don't hear a coach say very often. Not playing hard is inexcusable. Damian Lillard, he's dealing with an injury right now, and they're not going to win many games without him. But long-term ownership has to make him happy, and that's going to require shaking things up, making moves that make this team a contender, and whoever the next general manager is, that job is not going to be easy. To call it a shaky foundation that the Blazers are standing on right now seems like such an understatement. Yeah. So many paths forward there. Exactly, because of so many changes. This is something that they've been used to, is having consistency, and now they're going out there and trying to satisfy so many different, you know, realms. The main one is they've got to keep Dame happy because that problem they had last summer of Dame saying, 
If we don't do something, I'm questioning whether or not I want to be here forever. That's got to make the trailblazers nervous. Yikes. Okay.